I'm back. I'm back in action. Period. <laughs> I am back. So, with that being said, guys it's your girl kendra monique the kendra monique and welcome back to my youtube channel y'all i have been gone for so long and that is my fault um we're going to get into that in the video on why i have been gone for so long but yeah my last youtube video did a couple views so now that i have tiktok i can do a little bit more promo um promote my youtube channel on tiktok um rather, rather than instagram but um yeah i'm back i'm gonna be more consistent with my videos i really don't know what this video is about i'm just gonna talk um i don't feel like cooking i'm gonna cook after the video i'm not gonna cook right now i already did my makeup uh i flat out my hair um i'm just gonna do some pictures today take some pictures today and do a couple tiktok videos this video for y'all and that's really about it but yeah i am back for sure for sure your girl got a new phone okay i didn't upgrade it from the xr girl i am on the iphone 13 period stop playing i'm on the iphone 13 i am on the front camera when i say this camera is everything. You hear me? This camera is on the front, not the back camera. The front camera, okay? And it's so crisp. Like, it's everything that I I wanted for my videos. Like, my last phone was cool. I had did um, my, last, my last video for my blog was on my XR, but I did that video in 4K and um i tried to record some more videos um after that video but i didn't have enough storage on that phone so it was time it was time for a new phone so i'm excited to have this new phone but we're going to get into why i have been gone for so damn long okay stay tuned okay so a couple reasons why i have been gone for so long one I didn't have enough storage on my phone. Two, I have been having so many problems trying to get a camera. We're gonna get into that in a quick second, but I just didn't have any like, how can I say it? Um, I wanna say influences. Uh, I just didn't have any spark to do any videos. Like I didn't have any motivation. I needed to like sit down gather my thoughts write some stuff out figure out what it is that i want to put out for my next video i was gonna do a mukbang on my last video i recorded it y'all on my last phone on the xr not knowing that i didn't have enough storage even though i had just bought some um i was recording for like 30 minutes straight makeup done hair done food had just got here i had a seafood bowl and while I was recording, the phone completely stopped. But I didn't know until I got up and looked at my phone and said, not, not enough storage. So I'm like, okay, let's try this again. Maybe I'm tripping. Tried it for another 30 minutes, just sitting there talking. Food getting cold at this point. And yeah, it was just, it was just going downhill from that. So I said, you know what? let me try to invest and get into getting a camera i know a camera i want so i ordered a camera through amazon y'all know how amazon is with their with their products like i usually i just buy um clothes and like makeup stuff and like little stuff here and there i never bought buy electronics off of amazon ever so this is my first time buying or trying to buy a camera from amazon and that did not go as planned as y'all know so i ordered the camera guess what they said that they lost 
my camera. I said, you know what? Just give me the refund. So Amazon, I'm coming for y'all next because I had to freaking go through customer service four times to get a refund. Why? Why are y'all taking so long to give me my damn refund? So I'm not trying to bash Amazon because I still order my clothes through Amazon, some of my clothes, but the electronics, I don't think I'll ever do that again. So that was a hassle. Got my refund back after going off on them the fourth time because I was being, I was playing nice. Okay. I was playing nice the first couple of times, but the fourth time I wasn't so, it wasn't so pretty. So yeah. So a couple of weeks later, once I got my refund, I said, I'm going to use this money to buy a camera through Best Buy. Child, Best Buy. <sighs> I'm tired. I said, you know what? I'm done. So I bought the camera. I mean, I ordered the camera through uh, Best Buy only because they didn't have the camera in the store. So I had to order it for pickup. I ordered the camera and the memory card. The memory card was ready the same day nothing major the camera wasn't going to be ready until the following week the following week came i want to say two days before it was supposed to be at the store they emailed me and texted me and said that they were going to cancel my order uh-uh no y'all not so i had to go through customer service for the hundred times so i called customer service the first guy i got on the phone with asking him why are y'all canceling my camera? Why Why do y'all want to do that to me? Like, I cannot be great. So, they transferred me to someone else. The guy they transferred me to hung up in my face. <laughs> like, I cannot be great. Like, what? what's the issue? So, I called back because I want my camera. I called back again. So, another guy helped me. He was super nice um he told me the reason well actually he didn't even give me a freaking reason why i'm lying i just I almost lied that nigga excuse me that man did not give me a reason why my camera was canceled due to whatever best buy had going on baby i just said give me my refund this is the last time okay like i'm over it so i said you know what let me just use let me gather my thoughts once again let me just use what i have i can't use an xr because i don't have enough storage so i said you know what let me go to t-mobile yeah no oh, i have sprint so i want you know they don't have many sprint stores open anymore i don't, I don't know if they have any more in houston i haven't seen any so i said let me go to t-mobile and let's go try to get a new phone I got a T-Mobile. Actually, this was this Monday. Today, Saturday, I went on Monday. I went to T-Mobile to try to get a new phone. And what they had on display uh, was, I think, like the iPhone 12 or 12 Max Pro. I don't, I don't know. I can't keep up with these numbers. So, I just said, whatever. Let's see what the price range is. Let, let's talk numbers real quick. He was trying to charge me an arm and a leg. I said, uh... I'm gonna call customer service and see if I can order it on the phone because I don't know what y'all got going on in this store. I'm not feeling the prices. So I get on the phone. He told me what to say. He was just like, uh, basically tell them yada, yada, yada about the phone that you want. So I get in the car, call customer service and shout out to the guy. His name is Antoine. He works for T-Mobile. I don't know. I think he, I don't know where he lives, but he works for T-Mobile through customer care and he helped me so much and I appreciate all of his help. So I got on the phone with him. He's the one who convinced me to get the 13. I told him I wanted the 12 and he was like, just get the 13, it's a couple of dollars more. you like it better. And it's, you know, it haven't came out yet. I said, you know what, give it to me. Cause uh, I have a, I had a freaking XR. Like he was like, what's the point of buying getting a 12 if you can just get the 13 i said you know what you right order it <laughs> so um he asked me what colors i like he actually gave me a couple discounts as far as like shipment and a whole bunch of stuff that they were trying to charge me in the store he gave me discounts he took some money off so that's music to my ears okay so yeah 
Um, he ordered my phone. I got it yesterday, which was Friday. And y'all, when I say I'm in love with this phone, this phone is everything. I haven't taken any like pictures yet. I'm going, I'm going, I'm taking like a couple of selfies today, but I haven't took any like actual full body pictures yet. Um, I'm not going to do that until like next weekend when I go out. Your girl is popping out next weekend. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I love it. I love this phone. Uh, I feel like it's worth it. Uh, it's probably, I ain't even gonna say probably, it is expensive, but so far so good. I love the quality. The camera is just immaculate, okay? But yeah, so I am going to be doing more videos. Um, now that I got a new phone, <laughs> I am going to be doing a lot of hauls as y'all probably, well, y'all don't know because I haven't been on here. So lately I have been getting in tune with the fashion side. Uh, so I've had, I have so many clothes y'all. Like I have, I have pictures on Instagram, um, and a lot of outfits. Like every time I put a, a nice outfit on, I take a picture in it, post it on Instagram, do the hashtag now. Cause I'm, I want to get in the groove of becoming a fashion vlogger. So with that being said, I'll be posting more hauls like from Shein or from Amazon or wherever I get my clothes from. I'm going to be posting videos on here or on TikTok. Um, so yeah, that's been my thing lately, uh, taking pictures and uh taking videos of what i have on for the day and yeah it's been it's been doing okay so far but eventually i wanted to i want to expand i want to become a brand ambassador eventually so yeah those are my goals um but yeah as far as everything else i've been chilling i need a vacation um what else I haven't I just been trying to figure out my way of life like everybody else uh I took a break off of Instagram for the past week I have been on TikTok uh speaking of TikTok my name is the same name as my YouTube my YouTube channel it is the Kendra Monique on TikTok as well um but yeah so let's get into my aruba trip i know it's been months it's about to be a year in a couple of months since i've been to aruba and i'm just not talking about it I, i'm so sorry but if you want to go or you're um if you are trying to go to aruba the answer is yes do not ask me any questions should i should i yes you should go. I encourage everyone to go to Aruba at least once. If you have your passport, please go. I don't know how the restrictions are now um, due to people um, or due to countries um, that require vaccines. But when I went, that was the beginning of this year. They weren't requiring uh, vaccines at the time. They only required you to. They only required you to have the test um the covid test it had to be 72 hours in advance so yeah let's talk about aruba real quick just a little bit um aruba was everything that i can imagine for a vacation out of the u.s okay the u.s is ghetto okay aruba was perfect like when i say i didn't wear any makeup neither one of us I went with my best friend. We didn't wear any makeup because we were just so in the moment. And it was too hot anyway, but we were so in the moment of vacationing. We were like, we was like, damn, we brought all this makeup and didn't even get to wear it. So next time I'll know not to bring makeup out of the country because I'm not putting it on. But yeah, I had so much fun. Um, if you decide to go, I say, I don't know about the other resorts, but the resort we stayed in was really nice. So they had everything you needed right there. You didn't have to go anywhere. We stayed at the Holiday Inn Resort as you may see in um, my uh, vlog. 
and yeah that hotel well the resort the resort had everything you needed as far as if you want to do water activities boom they got it you want to freaking go get a cocktail boom it's outside right there <laughs> right there it's literally restaurants on the beach like you don't have to go anywhere driving where who i'm we're walking <laughs> literally walking distance so um we went to so many bars we went to karaoke at nighttime um they have happy hour every day period and I mean, including weekends, um, I enjoyed it. The water activities, amazing. Like, I'm so scary. So I really had to face my fears and do the parasailing. Y'all, when I say my stomach was so queasy when I got up there, I was like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I was like, uh-uh, I don't like this, but... It was a good experience. Would I do it again? Hell no. I would not. I would not do that again. But the experience was fun. Um, after we got off the parasailing, um, I threw up. Of course I did. Uh, <laughs> it was expected. Like my stomach can cannot handle that much. Like the, now, now that I'm older, my stomach be doing the fool. Okay, so yeah. I encourage, I highly encourage everyone to go to Aruba. Just go. You know what? Now that I've been there and when I was there, I did not know Aruba was a honeymoon vacation spot. So there were so many couples. I'm like, what? So if you got a boo thing, go. Because it's so many couples you can probably meet and do like activities with as far as like water activities or uh atvs utvs whatever they have out there you can go like they have the bars they have malls they have everything you can think of within walking distance like depending on where your resort is you can walk our our resort was literally across the street from everything so um we didn't need a car i'm so glad we did not need i'm so glad we did not get a car because that would have been so pointless and a waste of money because we literally walked everywhere um and not even that the roads who was driving on them crazy ass roads they don't have any freaking traffic lights like like us in the u.s we don't they don't have any of that they only have roundabouts ain't no stop sign ain't none of that going on in aruba i'm pretty sure that's in like every other country too but they don't have any of that so i recommend you not to get a freaking <laughs> vehicle especially if you have not drawn drove in a different country like aruba and you don't know what you're doing don't just don't do it but um enough about aruba uh what else has been going on uh, I don't know if y'all know, but I am from Houston, Texas. For the ones that, that don't know me or are new to my channel, I am from Houston, Texas. Um, if you have never been to Houston, um, I wouldn't say, <laughs> let me be nice. I encourage everyone to come to Houston, Texas. Woo! <laughs> I'm from Houston, Texas, so it's like it's not given anymore like i've been there and done everything you can think of in houston that's why i need a vacation like it's people come here to go to things they, things they see on tiktok of course that's what i do i go to things i see on tiktok on um i mean in houston um that i have never been to before but if you come if you want to come let me know i'll i will tell you where to go Am I coming? Probably not because <laughs> I've been everywhere. I've seen everything in Houston. Like, nah. But uh, if you're going to come, I'll let you know the food places that I go to or I've been to that I really like, especially brunch. I love brunch. Um, if you like soul food, I know where to go. If you like Mexican food, I know plenty of places. Okay. I fucks with Mexican food. I am the Mexican food 
fanatic, okay? And the happy hour specials. Do not play with me, okay? <laughs> um, what else? Uh, as far as clubs, don't ask me. Do not ask me about no clubs because I don't go to them. I have been to them. Now that I'm older, I don't do the clubs. So if you ask me, you're asking the wrong person. Ask somebody like a bottle girl or somebody, some connect, some party promoter. I'm not her. She's not me. Do not ask me. Um, what else? Uh, museums. I love them. Uh, I encourage everyone to go to at least two or three museums. I'm not, I'm not sure how many they are in Houston, but yeah, all of them are pretty cool. They're decent. I love them personally. Uh, I like to do fun stuff as far as like museums. I like to go to the park. I like to, uh, I like to go eat. Like I'm a foodie. Um, I like to go eat and have drinks. Uh, I like chill vibes. I don't like crowds. Like, now that this COVID thing is a thing, I really don't... I mean, if, before even COVID even happened, I, I'm not going to lie, I was going out a lot, but I'm still, like, still kind of, like, socially selective of, like, who I go around and... I just don't like the cross. I have I have social anxiety, so if anything pop off, baby, I am I'm gone. <laughs> I'm leaving. I am not fucking with it. So yeah, I'd rather go to like small intimate spots, maybe like a rooftop bar or something. But um, no, about the clubs, just don't. Oh, karaoke is another one. I love. Y'all, karaoke in Houston on a Friday, baby, go. Spotlight karaoke. They have one on West Timer and they have one in Midtown. Either one. I would I prefer the one um, on West Timer, but baby, when I say that is a spot, like get a couple drinks in you, get you some food, go on stage and sing whatever you want to sing. It's lit, okay? I just went a couple, well, actually, I think last weekend, I want to say, for my sister's birthday, and we turned up, okay? We had so much fun, and I went back in July for a friend's birthday and turned up, okay? That, and back in July, they had bought two bottles of Patron, and when I say lit i was up here okay <laughs> i was lit i was on this level okay so i encourage everyone to go to do karaoke karaoke is fun um what else uh i would say go to like the pop-up museums like candy topia or um the color factory i have not been there yet but i plan on going um they have some more pop-up pop-up museums but i can't really think off the top of my head you will have to go on tiktok like i do and just look up stuff to do in houston um they have pages on tiktok they have pages on twitter they have pages on instagram stuff to do in houston so if you don't know you can ask me um but yeah what else let's see let's see let's see uh hair Let's talk about this hair, though. Y'all, when I say I have been saving so much money on doing my hair, get into it. Get into the, the bust down Tatiana, Kendriana, okay? <laughs> Your girl did her own hair, hun. So, I have been saving so much money within the last four or five months. If y'all got on my Instagram... The last time I got my hair done is when I had some braids. And I think I had like the two-tone braid. That was a long time ago. After that, I said, you know what? Let me get on YouTube and look up some hair tutorials. So my first style I did by myself took two days. That was the soft locks, butterfly locks. I had the long ones down to my ass. <laughs> that took two days, but it came off 
so pretty. I kept it in for at least two months, I want to say. I had cut them into a bob as well. Once it started to like get old, I was like, I'm not feeling the ends anymore. So let me cut it into a bob. Cute. Okay. So I took that out. I said, what's next? Because I don't feel like getting no sewing. I usually get sewings, but I was like, you know what? Let's go back to the quick weave days. I haven't had a quick weave since high school like 2010 2011 it's 2021 so i said uh let's do the quick weave youtube let's go and i don't know how to braid my hair down so i said let me find a way to do a quick weave without having to braid my hair so what i did was i'm not gonna demonstrate but i'll just say a couple of steps um what i what i bought was two um caps i bought the morning glory uh i have some over there but i don't like getting in the mold everything i used to get quick weave so i know i knew what to get i just didn't know how to use them so i got the mold i got the two caps i got um what's where is it um a little the little brush you dye hair with i use that to like put the mold on my hair instead of using my hands so um I got all that. I, I already had this hair. Y'all, please do not ask me what kind of hair this is. I have been having this hair in my closet collecting dust. It's probably She's Happy Hair because that's what I normally get when I get bundles. So I'm going to assume it's She's Happy Hair mixed with a little Diamond Dynasty in there somewhere. Because those are the only two um, brands that I use for bundles. I don't use anything else but besides She's Happy Hair and Diamond Dynasty. So I think it's a mixture of both whatever so um yeah so i got all those products i got some stuff to wash my hair and all that good stuff so i said you know what let me go home and figure out how to do my hair super super quick and super easy the hair is like a i think this hair is a natural body weight but i just flat ironed it because the curls were, were not given anymore so um i just Wash my hair, brushed it down with the uh, foam, um, and I just put my hair to a uh, ponytail in the back, and I pinned it with the bobby pin, put the mold on, oop, put the cap on top, uh, I sprayed the cap with spritz, put some more mold on, it started gluing these tracks in, hun. Okay, I glued them in, bust down right here, that's it that is it that is all uh i did a side part too the side part y'all know i love my side parts but the side part didn't last that long because i sweat easily so this is coming off next week probably on monday to be exact because i forgot how hot it can get under these quick weaves so <laughs> i the last two quick weaves i had i freaking took those out within two weeks of each other like the first one i had for two weeks second one i had for two weeks i said like you gotta go like and they were the the mold is so good in the and i used the regular 30 second glue um and my hair is like it's stuck on my head like i would have to like actually put water on my cap for it to come off but that's a good thing though like it does it's not moving it ain't going nowhere um but yo, uh, I've been doing quick weaves lately, but I'm going to a party next Saturday. So I want to keep this look. I'm going to take it out, but I want to do this look again. But I keep telling myself, do a up and down style. Now that's something new that I haven't worn yet, but I like the look. So I think I'm going to try it keyword is try because i don't know if it's going to come out right i'm going to stay positive about this because i need this hair to come out right because i'm not doing my hair again so i said i'm going to take this out on monday wash my hair of course wash these bundles and do the up and down style because the outfit that i have i think it, it, it either goes with this style or it goes with the up and down look i don't know yet but I'm going to try to attempt to do the up and down look. We're gonna see. 
because I don't want some fancy earrings. Like the outfit is so pretty, it's so bomb. I cannot wait to show y'all some pictures. Ugh. It's giving. The outfit is giving. It's an all black affair. So y'all know I love me some black. Y'all know I love black. So black like make me look slim and trim, hun. Like it's giving. Okay. Shout out to Amazon for that outfit because that outfit is giving. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to show y'all these pictures when I take these pictures for next weekend. Uh, I might do a couple of videos of me putting the outfit on and I might just put the little pictures in there. Or I might just upload my damn TikTok. I don't know, hell. We'll see. Um, but I'm I'm done with all this chit chat and I don't know I'm just rambling I don't know what else to talk about uh I think my next YouTube video will be maybe with a friend or something I probably do like never have I ever with some alcohol y'all know well y'all don't know but I love tequila I don't do brown anymore so if we were to ever link don't ask me to come drink if you have brown liquor because I'm not drinking with you. If you don't have any tequila, I'm not drinking it. So, um, my next video might be a Never Have I Ever with a friend or um, maybe a mukbang. I don't know. But y'all will be seeing more content as far as like mukbangs, Never Have I Evers, or just games with, with friends vlogs of course i'm gonna be doing a try on hauls and just a little bit of everything so i'm back i'm back in action period <laughs> i am back so with that being said thank y'all for watching stay tuned until the next video that's coming i might vlog next weekend at that party hmm Oh, I might do that. I might start from the beginning of that day until whenever I leave that party, hun. Because your girl is <laughs> your girl is popping out next weekend. So I'ma let you guys go. I've done enough rambling for today. I'm gonna take some pictures. I'm gonna go cook because I'm hungry. And I'm gonna chill on this good old Saturday. So Go ahead and follow me on TikTok, the Kendra Monique. Follow me on Instagram at underscore Kendra Monique. Uh, Snapchat, I really don't add people on there, but you can follow me on Snapchat as well as Ken Monique. And that is all for today. I will see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, before you guys go, I just wanted to show y'all how good the quality is on this good old iPhone 13. Yes, I'm flexing real quick, but these are the pictures I took after I recorded this video. So I hope you like them. I love the camera. It is everything. <laughs>